In response to the launch of the revolutionary Xerox Color Cube Solid Ink MFP, the competition has posted a Ten Commandments of Do's and Don'ts on internet blogs in a desperate attempt to fight back. Are they true? Number one. Thou shalt not leave prints or copies on the dashboard of your car. Every kind of print fades in intense sunlight. Fact. Is solid ink less durable for use in the office than laser? According to the buyer's laboratory tests, it's simple. No. And melting? The melting point for solid ink is uh, close to the boiling temperature of water. If the car gets that hot, I wouldn't worry about the prints on the dashboard. More worry about the, the dashboard itself melting. On top of that, solid ink is less sensitive to office humidity and temperature issues. This doesn't affect print quality like other methods. Number two. Thou canst think twice about folding or creasing prints or copies. In everyday conditions, our prints achieve the same standards under testing as laser printing. It gives the same effect as a laser system. We have a third party test that states that it's the same. It even has a variety of finishing options, including a booklet maker. Need we say more? Number three. Thou shalt wait X minutes for the system to warm up from a cold start. Turn the machine off? Why would you want to do that? We've introduced our Intelligent Ready software in the ColorCube. The ColorCube Intelligent software knows when you start working and knows when you have finished working. So it learns the pattern, it saves you cost on uh, the power usage, and it will be up and running when you need. That sounds like a pretty intelligent solution to us. Number four. Thou shalt not tip it the system when wax is molten. Tip the machine? You can tip or move the machine. Uh, you have to shut it down, wait for um, less 30 minutes, and then move it. It's possible. Uh, who wants to move a machine that weighs approximately 250 kilos? You don't need to move your copier. You don't move the machine in one day, one month, even one year. Once it's in place, it stays in place. And anyway, who wants to tip a 250 kilogram multifunctioning device, whether it's laser or solid ink? Number five. Thou shalt trust a machine to decide what price tier to charge you when making copies. ColorCube is so smart, it's invented a new category of color. On your uh, laser machine, it's the same thing. Machine says when it's black and white, machine says when it's color. Why wouldn't they trust? They trust already to, to charge color or black and white, right? The concept hasn't changed. We just added another counter. We're using the same system, which uh, uses the percentage of uh, color coverage on your page to uh, decide what price you're going to pay for that page. With the color cube, it actually gives you the opportunity to save money instead of just having one price for black and one price for color. Isn't it better to save money if you use less color? Number six. Thou shalt trust software to decide what price tier to charge you when making prints. Stop, stop, stop. Isn't this the same as number five? It's the software on the machine that decides. So, in reality, they are one and the same. Number seven. Thou shalt trust that research shows 75% of all users color print or copy in everyday color. If you don't trust it, you can see for yourself. I think I would uh, advise the customer to actually uh, collect some uh, typical documents for his own office and visit the uh, Xerox website. Xerox uh, has launched lots of tools so that we can perform a study for your company, specific to your needs. And just upload the documents to the, the analyzer tool. And then we can show you black and white on what kind of percentage that we will uh, do a cost saving. Maybe it's even more than 75%. It's as easy as pie. Number eight. Thou shalt replace the cleaning unit when needed. Warning. Silicon fluids are an extreme slip hazard. Do not spill. It is a government health and safety requirement to put on warning signs. And every machine has them, including competitive brands. The conventional laser system, you have to change the toner cartridge, you have to change the drum cartridge, you have to change the fuser cartridge. So first of all, we reduced that all the things you had to change to one, one cleaning unit. The unit is totally sealed. You just pull the, the old one out and plug a new one in. There's nothing that can be spilled or fall on the floor. So you see, there isn't any danger. 
fuss in a laser machine, the units have to be replaced 50 times more frequently. And there are 10 items to replace. Number 9. Thou shalt replace the waste ink tray, since these are not recycled. 100% correct. The waste tray is not recycled, because it doesn't need to be thrown away. Laser devices, you recycle the waste container because it's biohazard. Then the new color cubes, you take out the, the waste tray, and you take out the waste, throw it in the normal uh, garbage, and then put the tray back in. So you don't have to replace it, you don't have to recycle it. That's just it. The machine is back up and running in less than two minutes. And remember, the waste tray lasts the life of the machine. Number 10. Thou shalt not turn the system off, for it is recommended that the device be turned off if there's an error or the system needs to be moved. Color Cube powers down to the lowest level of consumption to save energy when it's not in use. Nowadays, you don't have to turn off uh, printers. Most customers in a normal office wouldn't turn off the machines. And, uh, with the Intelligent Ready feature that adapts to the way the customer is working, it's not really a big problem. This software minimizes power usage when idle. But when ColorCube is printing, it uses 30% less energy than a comparable laser machine. We think that's wrapped it up. ColorCube 10, competitors nil. Check out more of the unique, award-winning ColorCube facts the competitors won't be talking about on the Smart Center site. <laughs>